Welcome to another Football Manager 2019 video. This is a follow up to my video from a couple days ago where I put together a really old English team. On my 100 years into the future save, a strange bug occurred where loads of players were just failing to retire and they were reaching the age of 100. So I put all of the English old players into one team and we played a couple friendlies, firstly against Hungary, secondly against Venezuela. We got mutilated in both of them. But I thought, what happens if we take on much weaker opposition, a team towards the bottom of the world rankings? So in this video, we're going to be taking on Djibouti. Here we go then, England versus Djibouti. Djibouti are currently joint bottom of the world rankings, 207th. So in theory, we might have a chance even with our geriatric players, because they don't actually have any proper players loaded. It's going to be, we're going to be taking on grayed out players. However, if you think about it, physically, they're actually better than our players. So it could still be a little bit tough. I don't know. But remember, a lot of our players have very good attributes in certain, certain departments. Um, for example, Sam Cass, although he's got one on acceleration and one on pace, his finishing composure and off the ball are pretty good. Likewise with some of our other players with their really good set pieces. Rondell Steele, who's got 20s on every single set piece. Uh, he's got 20 on bravery, leadership and teamwork as well. I think we will win this. Uh, I'm going with a vertical tiki-taka style tactic. I have no idea if this will work. I don't really know what tactics work on FM19. I've not played around with it enough. But... We've got some quality in certain areas, pace and acceleration, most things physical, we're not very good. But I don't think Djibouti will be particularly good either. You're, re remember Awakwi, those of you that watched my last few videos, Victor Awakwi, he is 101 years old even though this says differently. He's the most experienced England player because he's got three caps. We've got real players, the, the likes of Harley Dean, who's ancient because he was actually born in 1991. Uh, Kyle Walker-Peters as well, Matty James in central midfield. There's a, I, th I think the key word here is experience actually because... Just think how many years this adds up to. If we added the whole team up, it must be like 1,500 years old or something like that. Possibly old. Wait, there's 21 players. Yeah, it's going to be older than that, isn't it? Over 2,000 years of experience in this team. Crittenden pulled off some great saves against Venezuela, so I'm going to give him a go in goal. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this match against Djibouti. Now, I did actually play... Well, I didn't. I let my assistant take control of two friendlies by accident. I was initially going to show the Mal a game against Malta and a game against Luxembourg because they were the two lowest-ranked teams I could um, play in October. But I accidentally holidayed through them and... My, why is this taking so long? I don't know. My assistant picked really, really strong teams. Like, he, he didn't pick these players, and they, like, won 13 nil. So, yeah, that was a mistake, but you really want to see Djibouti, don't you? Bottom of the world rankings. There's, there's absolutely no players whatsoever loaded on the game. They're two strikers. I mean, pretty, I think all their players are going to be, yeah. Looking at this, there's just no quality here at all however overall the attributes might be a bit better well-rounded compared to ours but this this is what we're going to see we're going to see a really two really slow teams taking on each other ours is even slow if you think about it Abubakar, seven acceleration five pace he's actually five or six times faster than the majority of our team so there's if they play the right style of play then they, they can win this game I feel like I feel like we should win this but I might be overestimating some of my players it's going to be quite funny watching this though two truly dreadful teams taking on each other and we're going to see who comes out on top I want to see Victor Wackwe spraying balls around that wasn't the greatest first pass from him oh they've won a free kick Oh, they've hit the crossbar. Lucky Djibouti. They've won a, in fact, they've, they've been the better team so far. It's crossed it. 1 0 to Djibouti. We're losing against the bottom ranked team in the world of my team of pensioners. They scored from a corner. What are we doing defensively? Terrible stuff. We've got them in the corner here, though. That's cleared up the pitch by Djibouti. And that, look, did you see the curl on that ball? Here's Walton playing it into Grubb. Awakwi. Oh, oh, Victor, what are you doing? And now they, we're going to get beaten for pace, even though they've got really slow players. It's quite funny, really, isn't it? We've had zero shots again. This team is just dreadful. I've decided our players are just... Oh, they I don't, They should be in a retirement home. I know, we've willed them out of the retirement home to play this game. 
but I shouldn't have. I should have just left them there. This isn't working. I'm going to go attacking. In fact, I'm probably just going to change the tactic entirely at half time. I don't think we've... Well, apparently we've had two shots. We've actually had more possession as well. Perhaps we'll go to the Gagan Press. Because that was reasonably effective against Venezuela. But we're losing 1-0. We're not really seeing much. I'm going to say, where's the passion? And... I might go to extended highlights as well because I've got it on key highlights. We've not really seen very much. I'm going to make some changes. We're going to go for Gagan Press. Uh, play for set pieces. I should have been doing that already because that's what we're, we're really good at. And we'll go attacking. Come on. Let's see if this makes a difference. I'm sticking with the same formation. That's, that's the way we play. Oh, we've got a long throw. This is where we excel. Long throws from Steele. Oh, we've scored. We have finally scored a goal. And it's from a, a Rory de esque long throw from Steele. Shipley. Oh, another real player. I hadn't noticed him in the last video. Jordan Shipley is a real player. I want, who, who is he? Who did he used to play for? He's also got exceptional set pieces. Uh... Oh, in real life, he was playing for Coventry City. Someone might have put it in the comment section, I didn't notice. But yeah, we've actually got quite a few real life players. They're just so old though, it's hilarious. But Djibouti coming for is looking to attack, looking to regain their lead. Round the back of the defence here. This looks dangerous. Opportunity, fired well over the bar. Fortunately, their finishing isn't up to scratch. But we're drawing 1-1 with this English team of pensioners. But we're looking to get the win. That's what I want. A win against Djibouti. I'll make some more changes. Uh, I'm going to bring Walton off. Bring on Matty James in defensive midfield. Now that Football Manager 2019 is officially out, I have the in-game editor. I possibly might do something to do with moving a lot of old players into like a, a National League team and seeing what happens to them. I, I'm kind of thinking, is there much point? Because I just think they'll get murdered. This is boring. Nothing happening. Oh, we've got a highlight towards the end of this game. Crittenden played some good passes against uh, Venezuela. And that, what a ball that is. Cass is round the back, though, but his pace lets him down. Oh, if it'd been one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, I'd have fancied him. Because he's got good finishing, good composure. But, unfortunately, he wasn't able to get a shot away. However, nope, still heads it into the path of them. Oh, no, the pace... The pace is crossed in and oh, penalty. Bradbury, the substitute, has given away a penalty. Can Crittenden keep it out? Come on, you can do this. Abubakar steps up. Oh, he went the right way. At 100 years old, he made an exceptional attempt at a dive. But unfortunately, it was too much. And it looks like we're going to lose against the worst national team in the world. They're full of grayed out players. It kind of highlights how bad this team is. We've not created a single clear or half chance. Fifth, basically 50-50 possession. We've actually won 100% of our tackles. Both teams have won 100% of their tackles. But we're clearly just inferior in every single way as they make it three. I've gone very attacking. <laughs> we're losing against Djibouti perhaps if I did have the best tactic possible then we'd have a chance but yeah it's not great is it good finish actually oh red card ref red card. it is a red card I didn't even expect that to be a red card I've seen some weird red cards some very harsh red cards on FM19 as Wilkinson picks up an injury we're going to lose this game 3-1 overall disappointing really we had one long throw in. We we haven't won corners. We've I've played for set pieces and we've still just not won it. I mean, that's a set piece, I suppose, but it's not a great free kick into the box. Headed away. 3-1 defeat against the worst national team in the world. So the experiment involving this extremely elderly England team has ended. We have a 3-1 defeat against Djibouti. It's just quite obvious that I think physicals are important. You know, some of the players have very good mental attributes and then terrible physical and technical attributes. Some players have re some really outstanding te te technical and mental attributes, but everything else is shocking. I think I think it's the physical things that really let them down because they've pretty much all got one on acceleration, pace, stamina, strength, everything. They're, it's, they're just not good enough. And even against a team consisting of players with seven, eight, seven sixes everywhere across the board because they're grayed out players that is actually still better than our players 
<laughs> it might be, but maybe I'm to blame. Maybe I should have picked a better tactic. I, I don't know. But there we go. Thank you for watching this video anyway. If you do want me to, to do something else with this, suggest some ideas. Obviously, now I've got the in-game editor, there are things I can do. But maybe, maybe that's it for now. Maybe that's it for this particular save. But thank you for watching the last few videos. Until next time, enjoy Football Manager 2019. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.